Beetlejuice Star Explosion, NASA Chief just issued a serious warning. The second brightest star in the hunter's eastern shoulder is Betelgeuse, also known as Alpha Orionis. Its name is derived from the Arabic word Bat al Jorus, which means the giant's shoulder. One of the stars in the night sky with a maximum brightness is called Betelgeuse. It is a variable star with an average apparent magnitude of around 0.6, but it started to dim in the late 2019. By early 2020, it had a magnitude of 1.6 and was back to its previous brilliance. This great dimming was brought on by a massive gas explosion that condensed into dust when it cooled. But even being 642.5 light years away from it, NASA thinks it's dangerous for us. So let's take a look why NASA chief just issued a serious warning. Betelgeuse is clearly visible to even the most casual observer due to its brightness. Location in the beautiful constellation of Orion and rich crimson hue, the star is roughly 642.5 light years away from the Earth. Betelgeuse initially gained attention in the late 2019 when the star which gleams like a crimson diamond in Orion's upper right shoulder unexpectedly darkened. In 2020, the supergiant's brightness deteriorated more. Scientists have been attempting to ascertain what transpired with the star since some predicted that it would go supernova. Astronomers have analyzed data from the Hubble Space Telescope and other observatories, and they believe the star experienced a titanic surface mass ejection, losing a significant portion of its visible surface. Observing Betelgeuse in its usual and unusual behavior has allowed astronomers to see what happens late in a star's life. Betelgeuse has grown to enormous proportions and evolved into a red supergiant as a result of burning through fuel in its core. The enormous star has a diameter of 1 billion miles. The star will eventually become supernova, which could briefly be visible from Earth during the day. The star is currently having some ferocious tantrums. Even losing a sizable portion of its surface mass isn't a warning that Betelgeuse is about to blow, according to scientists. Late in their lifetimes, stars can lose a large amount of mass when they burn through nuclear fusion, which can have an impact on their survival. Scientists think that a convective plume that was more than 1 million miles across came from the star itself. A portion of the star's photosphere was peeled off by an eruption brought on by shocks and pulsations that plume produced. The fragment of Betelgeuse's photosphere, which was several times heavier than the moon, was fired into space. When visible through telescopes on Earth, the star's light was obscured by the mass's formation of a huge dust cloud as it cooled. Being one of the brightest stars in the night sky, Betelgeuse's dimming, which lasted for a few months, was visible via observatories and home telescopes alike. Betelgeuse's cycle has been measured by astronomers for 200 years. The pulse of this star is essentially a cycle of fading and brightness that repeats every 400 days. Given how significant the eruption was, the pulse has temporarily stopped. Betelgeuse is progressively recovering, according to data from telescopes. But its surface is still springy while the photosphere is being rebuilt. The star's outer layer has also reverted to normal. Betelgeuse is still acting in an unusual manner, according to Dupree. The fact that a star has never before lost so much of its visible surface raises the possibility that surface mass ejections and coronal mass ejections were two entirely distinct phenomena. The James Webb Space Telescope will provide more opportunities for follow-up observations of mass expelled from the star and may provide more hints through otherwise unseen infrared radiation. This is intriguing because Betelgeuse, a red supergiant star that was observed to dim in brightness in 2019, sparking speculation that it may have gone supernova, is also a red supergiant star. Betelgeuse, it turns out, is nearing the end of its life, but according to a 2021 study, it won't explode for another 100,000 years. But what impact might this study have on Betelgeuse? However, the rust-colored star is the brightest star in the sky at near-infrared wavelengths. This star is visible to the untrained eye due to its brightness, position, and color, despite being approximately 640 light years from Earth. Betelgeuse is a red supergiant star that is approximately 764 times the size of the Sun. The diameter of Mars's orbit around the Sun is 328 times that of the Sun. Infrared observatories from spacecraft have revealed that Betelgeuse is surrounded by massive shells of material that the star has clearly shed during episodes of mass loss over the last 100,000 years. The largest of these shells is nearly 7.5 light years in radius. What if Betelgeuse stands in for the Sun? Betelgeuse is so massive that if it replaced the Sun, it would instantly engulf the inner planets. With its surface extending beyond Mars and possibly as far as Saturn, Betelgeuse's diameter fluctuates on a regular basis, because it is a pulsating star. 
so our planet is not safe even beyond its surface. Stars from within dust clouds and are dispersed throughout Morse galaxies. The Orion Nebula is an example of a dust cloud. Deep within these clouds, turbulence creates knots with enough mass that the gas and dust begin to collapse due to its own gravitational attraction. The material at the center of the cloud begins to heat up as the cloud collapses. This hot core at the heart of the collapsing cloud is known as a protostar and will one day become a star. Three-dimensional computer models of the star formation predict that spinning clouds of collapsing gas and dust may split into two or three blobs, explaining why the majority of stars in the Milky Way are paired or in groups of multiple stars. One type of supernova is caused by a dying mass of stars' last hooray. This occurs when a star with a mass at least five times that of our sun explodes with a spectacular bang. Massive stars use massive amounts of nuclear fuel at their cores or centers, because this generates a tremendous amount of energy. The center becomes extremely hot, heat creates pressure, and the pressure created by a star's nuclear burning prevents it from collapsing. A star is in a state of equilibrium between two opposing forces. The gravity of the star tries to squeeze the star into the smallest, tightest ball possible. However, the nuclear fuel burning in the star's core creates a lot of outward pressure. This outward push counteracts gravity's inward squeeze. When a massive star runs out of fuel, it cools down. This causes the pressure to fall. Gravity trims and the star suddenly collapses. Imagine something 1 million times the mass of Earth collapsing in 15 seconds. The collapse occurs so quickly that it generates enormous shock waves causing the star's outer rim to explode. A dense core is usually left behind, along with an expanding cloud of hot gas known as a nebula. A supernova that is more than 10 times the size of our sun may leave behind the universe's densest objects, black holes. A second type of supernova can occur in systems containing two stars, at least one of which is an Earth-sized white dwarf. A white dwarf is what remains after a star the size of our sun has depleted its fuel reserves. A white dwarf can explode if it collides with another or pulls too much matter from a nearby star. Sima Qian, a Chinese court astronomer, wrote about these star colors around 100 BC. White is like Sirius, red is like Antares, yellow is like Betelgeuse, and blue is like Bellatrix. According to Professor Ralph Neuhoster of the University of Jena, from these specifications one can conclude that Betelgeuse was in color between the blue-white Sirius and Bellatrix and the red Antares at the time. Independent of the above, the Roman scholar Hyginus described Betelgeuse as having the color of the yellow-orange Saturn some hundred years later. Thus, the former color of Betelgeuse can be quantified with even greater precision. Supernova explosions have been linked to mass extinctions on Earth, such as the one that occurred 2.6 million years ago, or the permian Triassic extinction 252 million years ago, which was the most devastating to Earth's biota, killing approximately 96% of all marine species and 70% of all terrestrial vertebrate species. Fortunately, Betelgeuse poses no danger to Earth, when it does explode, the deadly radiation will spread out eventually in all directions, and by the time it reaches us, it will be too weak to be of concern. Other supernova candidates such as wolf red stars are far more dangerous. Some of these could produce a gamma ray burst, which funnels radiation very narrowly along the rotational axis of the star. If Earth is in line of fire, the consequences could be catastrophic. The most famous example of this type of star known as WR104 is too far away to pose a threat to Earth, but other, closer, wolf riot stars, such as the one in Gamma Wailorium system, could be a concern. That is why learning more about stars on the verge of going supernova could be a lifesaver in the future. In the case of Betelgeuse, would get about an hour's notice before the bright explosion from neutrinos and gravity waves emitted before the shock reaches the star's surface and visible light begins to rapidly increase. SN1604, also known as Kepler's supernova, Kepler's nova or Kepler's star was a type IA supernova that occurred in the Milky Way, in the constellation Ophiuchus. It is the most recent supernova in the Milky Way galaxy to be observed with the naked eye, occurring no more than six colus parsecs. 20,000 light years from Earth. Prior to the adoption of the current naming system for supernovae, it was named after Johannes Kepler, the German astronomer who described it in De Stella Nova. Kepler's star visible to the naked eye was brighter at its peak than any other object in the night sky, with an apparent magnitude of 2.5. It was visible during the day for more than three weeks. There are sightings of it in European, Chinese, Korean, and Arabic sources. Will Betelgeuse explode soon? It could explode today, in a hundred years, a thousand years, or a hundred thousand years. It's difficult to predict. 
the brightness of stars in the supergiant phase of stellar evolution varies. Betelgeuse is known as a variable star, with brightness variations lasting years to decades. The current brightness drop was abrupt and severe, with Betelgeuse appearing only about half its usual brightness in the sky. Does that mean it's about to blow up? Probably not, but sky watchers all over the world are hoping Betelgeuse will go supernova soon.